Hey, welcome to Brazilian Heart Sharing English. Remember, as always, understand as much as you can by listening first, and then, if necessary, read the text. Good morning. I'm here to enter another post for you, and hopefully to help with your English learning. I want to read a passage for you at a normal rate of speed for you to listen and try to understand. Then I will record it once again at a very slow rate. After that, I'll provide some details regarding the short phrases I provided on Facebook Sharing English this week, and then I will help to translate a few keywords that might be challenging for you or new to you, okay? If you are not a Brasileiro, please see sharingenglish.com backslash blog for more general help. So, let's go. It's Tuesday in Indiana again. Another week has begun, and there's another opportunity opportunity to discuss a little more that will help you expand your English knowledge and vocabulary. As you know, people all over America enjoyed Thanksgiving last week. It was a great time. We had lots of great food and laughed and talked so much. It was good. If you recall last week, I told you about Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. This is traditionally the biggest shopping day of the year. So, when the opportunity arose for people to shop, they did so with gusto. We had a fun experience this year, though my husband and I didn't actually go scoping. Didn't actually go shopping. We are hosting two foreign exchange students, one from Vietnam and the other from China. My sister is hosting a girl from Thailand. These three Asians joined my sister and my daughter for this ultimate shopping experience. The shopping extravaganza began at 11 p.m. Thursday night. Now, I know enough about Brazil to know that this hour to start doing something like having a party or something is not an unusual thing. But for us in America, this is not normal. It's really late and bound to make us so sleepy. When these five females drug themselves in after shopping, it was 8 a.m., bright and early Friday morning. They, they were laughing, sighing, smiling, and chatting about this adventure they had enjoyed. There were impromptu fashion shows held in bedrooms and bathrooms throughout the house as boots, jeans, shirts, jackets, and so much more were pulled from bags, thrown over tired bodies, and paraded all around the rooms. After about an hour of this, one of the girls declared, I think I'm going to sleep for maybe an hour. I feel pretty good, though. Before five minutes had passed, all had collapsed in chairs, floors, whatever surface was the closest. The exhausted shopper snoozed the day away. It was really, a, really a fun time had by all. One of the girls mentioned that she wants to come back to America next year probably for Black Friday. I think they all know that we will welcome them with arms open wide whenever they want to come back. I hope you will have a great day today. Thanks for stopping by, and God bless you. Okay, mais uma vez, muito, muito mais de pegar para você ouvir e entender. Okay. If you recall <clears throat> the scoping. If you recall last week, I told you about Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. This is traditionally the biggest shopping day of the year. So, when the opportunity arose for people to shop, they did so with gusto. We had a fun experience this year, though my husband and I did not actually go shopping. We are hosting two foreign exchange students, one from Vietnam and the other from China. My sister is hosting a girl from Thailand. These three Asians joined my sister and daughter for this ultimate shopping experience. The shopping extravaganza began at 11 p.m. Thursday night. Now, I know 
enough about Brazil to know that this hour to start doing something like having a party or something is not an unusual thing. But for us in America, this is not normal. It's really late and bound to make us so sleepy. When these five females drug themselves in after shopping, it was 8 a.m. bright and early Friday morning. They were laughing, sighing, smiling, and chatting about this adventure they had enjoyed. They were, Discope, there were impromptu fashion shows held in bedrooms and bathrooms throughout the house as boots, jeans, shirts, jackets, and so much more were pulled from bags, thrown over tired bodies, and paraded around the rooms. After about an hour of this, one of the girls declared, I think I'm gonna sleep maybe an hour. I feel pretty good though. Before five minutes had passed, all had collapsed in beds, discope on beds, chairs, floors, whatever surface was closest. The exhausted shoppers snoozed the day away. It was a really, really fun time had by all. One of the girls mentioned that she wants to come back to America next year, probably for Black Friday. I think they all know that we will welcome them with arms open wide whenever they want to come back. I hope you will have a great day today. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you. Okay. Some words and phrases. Momento. Opportunity significa oportunidade. Knowledge significa conhecimento. Enjoyed. Gustar. Gost, gusto. Experiencia con mm, alegría. Hosting. Hospedar. Foreign exchange students. Estudantes do intercambio. Ultimate. O melhor. Extravaganza, un grande produção. Sighing, suspirar. Chatting, falando. Impromptu, feito sem preparação. Boots, significa botas. Jeans, yeah, calça jeans. Shirts, significa camisetas ou mm, blusas, por exemplo. Jackets, chaquetas, parade, caminhando, caminhando seremos, ceremoniosamente, desculpe minha pronúncia mais uma vez, declared, declarou, surface, fora de algo, snoozed, dormiam, bright and early significa bem cedo, gonna, e gíria para ir, ok? Mais uma vez, muito obrigada pelo seu, seu tempo, ok? Forte abraço para você, um beijão.